guys and welcome back to my channel. So basically in today's video, prepare yourself, get a snack, it's gonna be a long one. I'm so excited to finally play with the ah Make Your Escape collection from Kalinos. It is a big one, so yeah, I suggest get yourself water, get yourself a snack to eat. Something to munch on. If you are new here, hi, my name is Literary Lewis and I'm based in Adelaide, Australia. And I believe I made the Kaleidos PR list when they were having their first like really big PR search. I was lucky enough to be one of the chosen ones. And I supported them before I even made the PR list. I got the three palettes that they first brought out and oh my god, I was so impressed that I was like, I need to get on their PR list. And here we are and I can't believe it. I'm just so grateful. Let's get started with the video. So, there's a lot in this collection. I'm gonna go like one by one. I'm not gonna show each item at the start and then play with them. I'm gonna show them as I play with them, just so it all flows well nicely together, hopefully. But yeah, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're playing with is really surprising to me, because I didn't think that would ever come out with something like this, but it is an eye primer. So this is the eye primer. This is the packaging it came in with. It is called the Tone Activator, and I'm, yeah. Yeah, I'm really excited to try this out. I have never really tried another eye primer other than my MAC one, so let's see how this goes. So it comes in like a nice little squeezy tube, which is always good, like the P. Louise bases, and I'm just going to squeeze a little bit on the back of my thumb. And it is skin tone, you can see there on my hand, it actually looks like a P. Louise base. And just like I would with my MAC Pensley paint pot, I'm just going to use this brush and pop this all over my eye. And see how this works as my base today. Oh, it actually looks a lot darker, uh, darker on my hand and then when it goes on the skin, it's a lot lighter. And it's more of like a fluid consistency, more than like a pomade. But yeah, no, it's definitely doing the job. It's cancelling out all my veins. So if you look at this eye, see how I like all my veins and like just discoloration shows. And then this side, it's actually covered it up really nicely. So I am intrigued to see how the eyeshadow sits on top of it. But I'm very impressed so far. Okay, so that is the eye primer on. I will give you my thoughts after I put eyeshadow on top of it, I think. I'll give you my thoughts on everything at the end, actually, and I'll go through each item. Okay, moving on. We have the Escape Pod palette. So this is the outer packaging. I absolutely love their packaging. I think it's so fun and it just has like the right colors and it's not too much, it's just right. I think their packaging is like on point with all of their collections so far. And then this is what the actual palette itself looks like. It is called the Escape Pod once again. And this is all like coming off and it's like 3D. It looks really cool. It's very beautiful in person. And all of this is like holographic, which is beautiful. Let's open her up and show you what we're gonna be playing with today. Yeah, this is what she looks like inside. Oh my God, look at all these colors. I'll just give you a little bit of a close up. Beautiful. And they are like all jumbled up, but I don't actually mind it. I think this is quite nice and I love that there's like a shimmer row in the middle. I think that's really nice when people do that. But yeah, let's swatch these and see what they look like swatched first. Oh, and before I forget, the palette is going to be retailing for $42 as well. I'll leave the prices and all that down below, but it's already launched and I'll leave the website so you can go straight to it if you want to purchase anything. Okay, so this is the first row swatched. Starting off, we have Sori, then we have Mardi Gras, then we have Flamingo, then we have Tango, and then we have Exoplanet. Exoplanet, which is the blue, swatched incredibly, and so did Mardi Gras, which is that second purple. And then the next row, these all swatched amazingly, like, oh my god, I am so excited to play with these. They do a really good shimmer for me, I'm not gonna lie. So, first one, the champagne, is a Starlight Sonata. Then we have Amaretto. Then we have Space Oasis. Then we have Cosmic Cabaret, and then that last green one. Oh my god, the green! Oh, that is called Galactic Gala. Okay, and then the last row we have the green is Saturnalia, then we have a brown which is a Bossa Nova, then we have this skin color which is called Lo Fi, then we have this like, oh, this red is like 
beautiful, but it is called Carnival. And then that last dark brown is called Terrace. But this red, I think that would be a gorgeous blush. Like, not gonna lie, I probably will use that as blush at some point in my life. <laughs> so, that is the Escape Pod, and that is all 15 shades swatched. There is one, another look at it. We'll play with this in two seconds and create an eye look. Before I want to play with the eyeshadow, I actually want to swatch the blushes on my face, so let's do that. Okay, up next we have the blushes. So these are duos. Uh, this is a peach one and this is a like a pink one. This is the outer packaging though. Let's look at the actual packaging because it's beautiful. Hello, look at this packaging. This is beautiful. This is how it's done. So this is the pink one and then this is the peach one. Let's open them up and show you. So this is the pink set. It is very, I don't think deeper skin tones are going to get away with this, but they will get away with this. This has kind of got like a pink shift to it. I don't know if it's going to show on camera. You'll see on my cheeks in two seconds. But yeah, this is the pink one. And then this is the peach one, which I think you'll get away with if you have a deeper skin tone, because they do have this used on their socials on a deeper skin tone. It looks beautiful. But yeah, I'm going to swatch one on one cheek and one on the other cheek. So I've got no foundation on or anything because I just wanted to test these out by themselves and then I will put foundation and my favourite one on after. But this is the pink side. So I'm just going to lightly dust my cheeks. Is that showing up? Oh yeah, it is. It's very subtle. It's a very subtle blush shade but I think it actually looks quite nice on my skin tone. Oh yeah, that's actually really pretty, especially on my skin tone. So if you have like a bit of a creamy yellow skin tone, then this will look really nice over it. Then I'm going to go in with Bloom, which is the topper. And I'm just going to pop that over the top. Now I'm not really used to a blusher topper. I would personally use this as a blush and then I'd use Bloom as a highlighter. Um, but this is what it is intended for. Okay, so that is both of them on and yeah, I would say I would prefer the Bloom shade as a highlighter. I'm actually going to try that with my finger now and just apply it as if I would, yeah, see, I would apply this like a highlighter. It is beautiful and I actually really like this blush shade. I think this might be the one that I use. But yeah, we're going to pop over to this side and we're going to try out the other one. So this side is going to be the more peachy side and I'm just going to swirl my brush along my cheeks. Ooh, it's actually quite dark, isn't it? I actually feel like I'd get a... Oh no. No, it's definitely a blush. I was like, is that a contour shade? <laughs> no, it's not. Oh, I actually don't mind it. I think I prefer this one, but I actually don't mind it as much as I thought I would. And then I'm going to go in with the topper over the top. And just see what that looks like. Oh, this top is really intense. Yeah, that top is... Whoa, that took it to another level. I actually really like that duo. That's really nice. So I actually don't mind that as a topper of the blush, but I didn't like it on this side. Let me just see what it looks like as highlighter because I love highlighter. I'm just going to tap it on the very top of my cheeks. Yeah, see that is a beautiful highlight as well. So if you don't want to use it as a duo, you can use it as a blush and then a highlighter and I, they complement each other very, very well. So. That is a blush duos. Ooh. Depending on what look I do on my eyes is what blush I will go in with. Okay, I'm going to wipe that off my face and then let's get started with the eye look. Okay, going in with the palette now. First off, I'm going to grab the shade Sorry, which has the escape button pressed into it. I really love that um, little touch that they've done there as well. And I don't think I want to do a cut crease today, but we'll see how we feel in two seconds. And you'll already see in the thumbnail. <laughs> Oh, before I forget, I forgot to tell you how much the blush duos are. So they are going to be $18 USD each. Okay, so I'm just going to take this light purple in the first portion of my... Oh my god, the pigment is there, honey. Jesus Christ. 
uh, in the first portion of my eye, just right here. Wow, that is a beautiful purple. It's like a pastel light purple. Oh, that's really pretty. I might take that a little bit further than I planned because it's beautiful. <laughs> And I forgot to say, like, these shades, when I swatched them, oh my god, so buttery. They're so, like, you just don't know until you've swatched them yourself. They're so smooth. And, like, look how pigmented they are. And they are so easy to work with. I can't vouch for Kaleidos enough. Like, I really do love their brand. I'm actually going to pack it on out a little bit further and then take my blend out even further than I did. Okay, so that is that purple on. Beautiful, moving on. Next up, I'm gonna take the shade Mardi Gras, which is very fitting for this month, being Pride Month. <laughs> and I'm going to pop this in the center of my crease slash eye socket. Ooh. First of all, I'm just gonna really pack it on, like so. Chilling in nicely with that other purple as well. And then I work on blending it out. Now what I will say is like these aren't really unique shades. But they're still such beautiful shades to work with and play with. So I'm having fun even though I've played with these shades before. And just lightly going to blend out this edge. Oh, and I didn't tell you what brush I'm using. I'm using the JS13 as always. <laughs> okay, so that is that shade on. It went on really nicely. It is more of like a pinky purple, I would say, but it's still very beautiful. And yeah, let's move on. Next up, I'm going to take the shade Exo Planet, which is this blue. And I'm going to focus this right here at the end. And I'm going to kind of wing it out a little bit as well, like so. Oh my god, and this blue when I swatched it, oh it's so buttery and beautiful. Okay, I just, I can't explain it. You just need to swatch it yourself. Buy this palette and swatch it yourself and you'll be like, that's what he was talking about. Oh my god. <laughs> and I'm just going to slowly take this into the purple. Just by tapping away at it. Because if you like brush it, sometimes it does disturb the purple or it will disturb the colour that you're trying to blend in with. So I find that tapping blends colours a lot better together than like brushing it on, if that makes sense. And then I'm just going to go around these edges and blend that out. Just pack on a little bit more. and blend and pack on and blend until I'm happy. <laughs> I'm also just going to take a little bit underneath my eye just so that I know like where to, where it's gonna like join up on the top of my eye if that makes sense. But yeah guys, there is the blue shade on and I will say I don't really think I've got a blue like this. It is almost like, um, oh I don't know how to describe it. It's beautiful, like I don't think I've got a blue like this in my collection, so it definitely stands out and yeah. Moving on, <laughs> what I was trying to say about this blue that I like couldn't put into words, that it looks like a pastel dark blue and I, I just, it's really pretty. I don't know why, this blue has something on me. <laughs> but anyway, moving on. I'm going to take the shade Galactic Gala. And I'm actually going to go in with a Kaleidos brush this time. So this is the S4 from their brush collection. And I'm going to start by pressing this into the first portion of my eye. Just right here. Oh yeah, hello green. Wow, we love. I'm just going to press this in the first portion of my Eye. And I'm just going to tap it right next to where the purple is because I kind of want it to blend it in seamlessly. I don't want to do like a cut crease movement. I just want it to like all mesh together nicely. And then I'm just going to bring that about halfway across my lid. Oh, that is a beautiful colour. Let me go with my finger and make it more intense. Oh my god. So just going with my finger. Oh, look at that. Fingers, am I right ladies? Like they are 
are based at putting on shimmer shadows. Look at that. That is stunning. <gasps> yes. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this halfway and blend it in nicely with that purple. I seriously can't get over that green. Oh my God, that is beautiful. Moving on, I'm gonna go in with this shade. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. I think it's Saturn and Lily. Saturn, Saturn and Lily, Saturn and Lily. I can't, I can't say it. Saturn and Lily. Hey Siri, how do you pronounce S-A-T-U-R-N-A-L-I-A? -A? Okay, I found this on the web for how do you pronounce Saturn Alia? Saturnalia, oh. Okay, so it's actually called Saturnalia, which actually slips off the tongue so much better than what I was trying to say. <laughs> and on the same brush, I'm going to take this shade on the last portion of my cut crease. Not cut crease, it's not a cut crease, it's just my eyelid. <laughs> and I'm just gonna be very careful on this outer portion. I just wanna like, place it nicely just there. I will say that these shades look quite similar though. Let me just go with my finger though, that's the real test. And pop that right there. Oh no, it's like a... I mean, next to each other they look exactly the same, I'm not gonna lie. But it is a bit darker in person. Yeah, I definitely would say that they look exactly the same when you put them next to each other. So probably best not to do that. <laughs> okay, after playing around with swatches, I think I'm gonna leave it like this, but I do wish that maybe there was like a blue shimmer in the palette instead of the two greens. Like one of them would be a blue shimmer. That would be really nice. But that's just me personally. Anyway, moving on, we have one sponge. We have two sponges to test out. I'm actually just gonna test out the purple one cause that's, I'm just gonna do my base with it. But yeah, I'm just going to wet them and apply my foundation and give you my thoughts on them. They feel very soft. They feel like the Morphe ones, not gonna lie. And the pair retails for $10 USD as well. So this is before being wet. And then this is it after being wet. It grew twice the size. I mean, all sponges do, but I just like to show you guys on camera. And as always, I'm just going to use the Makeup Revolution foundation in the shade F5. I'm just gonna do this part of my face on camera and now I'll just do the rest off camera. You just wanna know my thoughts on this. Oh, it's very, very soft and it's applying the product really nicely. Oh yeah, this is really nice. I'm so glad I actually needed a new sponge. My other sponges have got like all cracks in them and they're like breaking. I've had them for so long. But yeah, oh, that's actually really nice. It's applied the foundation really nicely. They're just great sponges. Not gonna lie, they're good sponges. <laughs> it did take a little bit of the foundation, but that's normal with any sponge. They all seem to take the foundation. But yeah, I. if you wanna grab more sponges, they're great. I don't really know how to review a sponge, but I'm just going to quickly do my brows and the rest of my base off camera and we'll be right back. Okay, now that my base and brows are on, moving back in with the eyeshadow, I'm going to go in with a pencil brush. This is the S5 from Kaleidos. Just gonna go over the top of that blue one more time and bring that back. Then I'm just gonna take Mardi Gras, which is that purple, and just pop that right here. Like so, and then let's go in with another color. I'm going to take the shade Flamingo, which is the pink, and just place that right here. Almost to the center of my eye, but not quite just yet. And that is a beautiful pink. Like again, like I said before, it's nothing that I haven't seen before, but it's still such a fun like color to play with. And then to finish off the under eye, I'm gonna go in with Carnival, which looks really beautiful. Ow, 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 it's squashing my finger, ow. Oh my God, oh, it just like landed on my finger and squashed it. And that color is just gonna go right here in my inner portion of my under eye. Oh, oh my God, I love that color. That is very unique, it is like a neon ready pink shade. I really love that color. I wanna use that like all over my eye next time. Like I definitely want that to be one of the main colors that I use next time I play with this palette. <gasps> That's beautiful. And then last shade I'm gonna go in with from the palette today is Starlight Sonata. And going in with a different brush, I'm going to take this in my inner corner. 
I really think this is going to be good as a highlighter as well. But there is highlighters in this collection as well. So <laughs> that'll be the next thing we're going with. Okay, so I just realised I forgot to contour as well. And I'm just going to apply the Lo-Fi Pink Blusher off camera. And then we'll be right back to play with the highlighters. Because there is four. Oh, yes. <laughs> Actually, I'll do it on camera because that way you can see what it looks like over my foundation and I can also use it for my Instagram video. <laughs> so I'm going to take the shade Mood and use that for blusher. Also, I forgot to mention, these have mirrors with them as well, so that is always a good thing. And yeah, I'm just going to grab my blush brush and go ham with this shade on my cheeks. Yeah, I really like that shade on my skin tone. I think it looks really pretty, so I'm very happy with this blush. I definitely think I would dive into it again as well. I really want to get more into my blush because I always forget it. Okay, we are getting there. So, next up is highlighters, and there is four. So there is three new ones, and then there is one reformulated one, which I will swatch side by side for you. Don't worry, I got your back, girl. <laughs> so these are the three new ones. I'm just going to show you each individually. First up we have Moon Cruiser which is a duochrome blue. Then we have Diamond Dasher which is like a glittery champagne. And then this is probably going to be my favourite, this is Mars Melter which is like a duochrome red. And we have a return of Ray Rider which is a colour they've already released but they have released it again with a new formula. Okay so let's swatch these on the arm and see what they look like and then let's play with them. Okay, so here are the three new shadows. So this is the blue one, this is the champagne, and then this is the red one. They are so good. Like, their highlighter formula, I will 100% say yes, go grab it. <laughs> and now let's do a comparison of the old Ray Rider compared to the new Ray Rider. Okay, so here are both the Ray Riders. This is the original, and then this is the reformulated one. I will say that this one's a lot brighter and, like, it felt smoother in the pan as well. But this is still beautiful, and, um, yeah. I just guess they wanted to amp up the shimmer and shine in it, so... There is those two swatch next to each other. Okay, so I can't use them all on my face, but I do want to use two shades in particular. So first off, I'm going to go in with Moon Cruiser, which is this blue duochrome. And I'm just going to pop that under my eyebrows. Just right here. Because I think it will go nicely with the blue and the purple tones. Yeah, that's pretty. I mean, it's not like an... Also, again, it's not like a colour we haven't seen before but it's still such a fun, I love like duochrome highlighters, I think they're so beautiful. Like I really hope they do a green one because that will be so nice. And then I can't help myself, I'm going to take Mars Melter on the cheeks and this is the one with the red slash pink duochrome. And I'm actually going to take another Kaleidos brush, this is the S1 and use that to apply it. And just brush that along the cheeks, oh yes, that is beautiful. It goes really nice with the blush as well. I just like to focus a lot of the pigment right on the tippy top of my cheek and then just slowly brush it out. And then when the light hits, it's like kapow! Oh, yes. Okay, and then the last thing from this collection is a Lucid Lip, which is a lip gloss. And this is in the shade Hypnotize, and I'm just going to pop this on my lips. It looks like a duochrome, like, goldy pink. Let me see if I can give you, like, a close-up so you can see, like, the true colour. So this is what colour it looks like. Yeah, I have played with this formula before and I just think this is going to probably tint my lips a little bit darker, which is fine and give me like a bit of a gold shimmer, which will be really pretty. So let's put it on and see what it looks like. Ooh. Oh, that's gorgeous. Oh, I think they've changed their doe foot applicator as well. It's got a bit of a curve to it. I don't know if you, that's going to... Let me just do the beauty guru thing. See how it's got a bit of a curve to it? I actually really prefer that as well. Their other ones have been straight, but this one has a curve to it. And it makes it easier to apply on the bottom lip for sure. Okay, so that is that applied. Let me give you a little close-up. So, this is what it looks like up close. It's a gorgeous formula and it's not sticky at all. See, it doesn't like stick down and it looks so wet and luscious on the lips. Okay, so I'm just going to quickly apply lashes off camera and then that'll be the finished look and I'll give you a little bit of a montage. So 
that is it for the Make My Escape collection. Now let's run through everything and I'll give you my final thoughts. Okay, so first up I use the eye primer and I actually really like this and I'm going to be continuing to use this. Continue to use this. Yeah, that's the right word. <laughs> but yeah, this actually worked really well. The eyeshadow packed really nicely on top of it. The shimmer packed really nicely on top of it as well. And it blended out nicely. And yeah, I'm definitely going to be continuing to... I'm definitely going to use this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to continue to use this. Next up, the eyeshadow palette. I love this. I love all the colours in here. I think the only colours I didn't really use were... The three shimmers in the middle, the orange, and I didn't use the browns or the neutrals. Oh, what a surprise. But I actually really love this palette. It's very pigmented. The shimmers are beautiful. The only shimmer that is like a top shade is Space Oasis. Sorry, it keeps closing on me and crushing my finger, which is that shade right there. That's the only top shade. All the other ones are fully like pigmented shimmer shades. And I definitely want to dive into this palette again. I highly rate it. If you want to get anything from this collection, get this palette. It is beautiful. Beautiful. Then we have the sponges. I mean, a sponge is a sponge and it did the job and it feels really nice and soft and it applied the foundation really nicely and I highly recommend it. Like $10 for two sponges, bargain. <laughs> The blush jewels are really nice and I definitely will be using the pink one for future looks because it looks so beautiful. I love this colour on my skin tone and it's really, really nice. And the topper shades are beautiful as well. So yeah, I'm definitely going to be going back into these and I love the packaging. I highly recommend these, but if you're probably light to medium skin tone, I don't think these are going to show up nicely on a really deep complexion. But hopefully they do more shades and do more duos for more more duos for deeper complexions in the future. And also like really like out there colours. I want to see like really bright peaches and really bright pinks for blushes. So yeah, I'll be interested to see if they continue on doing these because they are a really good formula and they worked really well. And then up next is the highlighters and I could not recommend these enough. If you love your highlighter and you love your highlighter to shine bright, these are the highlighters you want to go for. Uh, definitely Diamond Dash will probably be the one that will shine the brightest out of them. And this is like the most wearable colour. And then the blue one and the red one are just really fun to play with. If you want to like experiment with your highlighter these are two that you're gonna have fun with definitely so I highly recommend their highlighter formula I've used their highlighter formula before and I love it so the highlighters retail for $14 USD each but yeah like I said I'll leave all the prices down below and then last but not least is the lucid lip and this looks beautiful but it is very like everyday wear kind of color it's not like your Jeffree Star like punch, pack a punch kind of colour. Um, it's beautiful. I actually really like this. The formula has sat nicely on my lips. I've already used this formula before and it's very comfortable. Um, oh, I don't think I gave you the price for this either. So let me just give the price. <laughs> the price of the lip tonic is 16 US dollars. And I'm just looking at their website now and the whole collection is available. The escape kit, so with the case has sold out, that was $166. But the whole collection, so what I've shown you today, is going to be 139 US dollars if you just want every single thing. <laughs> but yeah, wow, that was a long video and I really hope you guys enjoyed. I absolutely love Kaleidos and I highly recommend them. If you are wanting anything from this collection, go out and grab it because I'm sure it will sell out. It is a very good collection. <laughs> and if you enjoyed this video, I would literally love if you give it a massive thumbs up down below. Let me know down below if you're gonna cop anything or like what kind of stood out to you. I have a lot of videos planned. I have all these palette, new palettes to try out and I can't wait to try them out. But I promise you my next video is going to be me testing out these pastel liners that glow under UV light. So that's going to be a fun video. And I also want to bleach dye a few coloured hoodies and see how that turns out. So that might be Friday's video. So I've got your week sorted. <laughs> But yeah, that is it for today's video, guys. If you haven't already, I would literally love if you would subscribe to my channel. Now that I monetize, it means even more to me and it helps me out as well. And yeah, that is it for today's video. I really hope you are having a good day or night wherever you are. I hope you're staying safe and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.